Hey guys, Rissy here. Today I wanted to talk about the symptoms that I get from my Crohn's and how it has affected other parts of my body as well. So, a lot of people with Crohn's, they have uh, bowel movements you know, 20, 30 times a day. Luckily for me, I have not had to have that. I, I, um, I at most get about five to six bowel movements a day when I'm in a flare up, but like I've said in previous videos, um, I, I'm in the bathroom for a long time each time. Um, so I bring my computer and I, I stay in there and, <laughs> you know, party in the bathroom with my poopery. If you don't have some, I recommend poopery. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, so my stools can be, can go from a range of like constipation to, you know, completely watery diarrhea, you know, really gross. Um, I've only had blood in my stool once and that was right before my, um, bowel resection. I actually haven't had very much blood in my stool since then, but I do get a lot of mucus in my stool. But one of one of the worst symptoms that I get is is the pain. I get a ton of pain in my abdomen um, right here, especially. Um, sometimes I like to describe it like someone stabs you with a knife and then decided to twist it and then just leave it there. That's, that's how I describe it. I don't know um, what the pain like for you guys is, but that's how the pain is for me when it's really, really bad. And then there's the cramping. Um, like when you, you know you're gonna have to go to the bathroom like, and you're gonna need to find a bathroom no matter where you are. The cramping and I get really hot and sweaty. And that's when I know, that's when I know like, Time's a ticking, gotta find a bathroom, even if you're you're out and have to use the dreaded public bathroom, which is like absolutely disgusting. <sighs> but you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go with Crohn's. And I have I have my little um, emergency, I have an illness, it's an emergency card um, to use the bathroom wherever. If you don't have one of those, I recommend getting one. I haven't used it yet, because luckily I haven't been in a place that doesn't have a public restroom when I've needed to go really fast. So I have heard that they can be very, very helpful and I hopefully never have to use it, but if I ever do, I'm glad that I have it just in case. So another symptom that I get, um, I, I get malnutrition. I have malnutrition because I don't absorb um, nutrients as well because I don't have all of my small intestine and also you know the inflammation from your small intestine the ulcers makes it hard for your body to absorb the nutrients so I get those symptoms from just not having enough so you get kind of lightheaded and uh, foggy brained and um, you can lose a lot of weight which right now I'm on prednisone so I've gained a lot of weight um, especially my cheeks. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that that's also a symptom that I've had, um, as well as anemia, low iron, um, same reason why, and low vitamin D. I don't know if that's for my Crohn's or it's just because I, I just don't get enough vitamin D. I don't know. Um, one of, another one of my symptoms that I get really, really bad is, is uh, arthritis. So I get arthritis really bad in my fingers and my ankles, knees, hips, spine, neck, um, basically every joint, <laughs> but really bad in my hips and like uh, my lower back, so my spine and my fingers. Um, and I use Tiger Balm for that and my heating pad. Uh, I have a cane that I use when it gets really, really bad and I can't walk. Um, and pain medicine that I try not to take unless I really, really, really have to because it can be addictive and I really don't want to get, 
well, I really don't want to have to take another medication. So, so yeah, and, and then um, more towards my Crohn's symptoms, I also get very, very nauseous, and I throw up almost every day. Some days are worse than others, um, where I can't keep down anything, but I at least throw up once a day, most days. Some days I don't, and those are awesome days, but, um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Um, oh, fatigue, fatigue, yeah, huge symptom. I can't believe I almost forgot fatigue. Um, that's one of the symptoms that is really hard to deal with because you feel like you can fight through it, but you know, it's a fatigue. You get sometimes where just talking, you feel like breathing is just too much. They, they have a, um, a way of describing it with spoons. You know, you only have, you know, X amount of spoons per day and so everything that you do takes those spoons and then once your spoons are gone um, you know you're done for the day and so I I feel that way a lot so I have to really manage and decide and prioritize what I'm going to do for the day and usually by the end of the day or even midday I'm exhausted but the fatigue has been hard and you know some days you wake up tired you wake up fatigued and those days aren't fun but you get through with them and I, I I I'll go into a whole like video about this in the future but um when people don't understand that fatigue and they think that you're just being lazy it can be kind of stressful and hard um to deal with emotionally because you know you you start to think, am I just being lazy? But no, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> I have an illness. I have a right to sleep. I have a right to be tired. So um, anyways, if you have any comments or questions or, you know, want to comment about your own symptoms, your own experiences with Crohn's um, that differ from mine or the same as mine, um, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to, you know, reply and get your feedback. So please like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys. Bye.